Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. So today's video we're going to be talking about how to deal with React Navigation header styles. So this is what we're going to be building right here. It's a custom made header. We have a green background. We have a specialized logo in the top right corner, well in the right corner. And we have this button that if we click on it, it exits the app, like so. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Today's video sponsor is Zego Cloud. Zego Cloud is a communication solution that provides voice video chat, and live streaming abilities. With over 20 UI kits ranging from live events to one-on-one -on -one tutoring, Zego Cloud provides several templates in multiple different platforms and languages. Languages such as iOS, Android, React.js, Vue.js, Angular, Flutter, and React Native. Setting up an app takes less than 10 minutes to do, and all you need to do is specify the use case for your app that you want to integrate. And which platform you want is very plug and play. The documentation easily provides code snippets for both HTML and NPM packages. And the final result is a fully functioning live voice and video chat software. Check the links in the description down below to get 10,000 free minutes to build a powerful communication application. And now back to the video. Alrighty, so this tutorial is going to be fairly universal. If you don't, if you're not following along with this course, no worries, you can still find benefit from it. Um, the way that we're going to start this off is go ahead and open up wherever your stack screen is available to you. In our case, it's in the app.js file. And inside of here, we can give it header styles for each individual stack screen. So we have home and we have selected anime as our two, um, two routes, two screens. And so inside of home is where we're going to primarily do our customization. I'm going to give it a prop called options. And inside of here, I'm going to just create a quick function called like so. And here we'll just do a return with curly braces, the smooth ones, the curly ones. And we can give it some styling if you want. So we have a whole bunch of props available to us. We have animation, content style, header, and all that good jazz. But what we're going to do is we're going to do header style. And inside of here, Header style has one uh, styling available to us with your background color. And for this background color, let's give it red, because I think red looks a lot cooler than green. And after that, let's do something like header title style. So this will actually edit the title styling right here, so the home. And this gives us a lot more options. So we have color, font family, font size. We do have also padding and margin if you want to use that, but we're not going to use that. Uh, so let's do something like font family. Let's do something really crazy. Let's do like 50 font. Font is 50. Um, and then we can do font family. And here we can define font family as Montserrat hat. Let's do light. And then after that, we'll do color to be yellow. And let's do, yeah, that should be fine. And so now we see that it changed the color, made the font. Oh, I don't know why I said font family twice. Font size, there we go. Font size at 50, font family, Montserrat light, and set at yellow. Coolios. Now after that, we can do customizations on either side of the actual header. So we can customize things on the left side and things on the right side. So to edit uh, the right side and the left side is pretty goddamn simple. Um, what we're gonna do is inside of our return block, which is right here, we are going to add, no, nope, not inside the return block, we're going to do it inside of here. We're going to target something called header left. And inside of here, we can target everything we want inside of the header left. So we can customize it if we wanted. Um, we can add icons, whatever we want. We can do it on the left side right here. So let's say we do something like, uh, let, me, let me make these into smooth braces like that. This is something like a touchable opacity. Inside of here, we'll do a text that says exit app and inside of the touchable opacity let's do on press on press we will run something called back handler dot exit app now this is something that react native actually has itself uh, this allows you to be uh, this allows you to exit the app pretty pretty simple um, and so let's, add, let's set some active opacity so it doesn't dish up here too fast. So active opacity, and we'll set it at 0 
And so now if we try it out, we see that we have a button that says exit app, we click it, and the app is gone. So now if we open it up again, let's go ahead and edit on the right side. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. Uh, you probably guessed how to edit that too. All you have to do is header right and header right like so. Smooth braces, not curly. Smooth braces. And inside of here, let's add a small image. So what we'll do is we'll do view. Instead of the view, let's give it some simple styling. So let's do style. I'm a bit too lazy to make a style variable. So what we'll do is height at 50 and width to be 50. And so now I'll make a small image tag and I'll give it the exact same styling. Why the heck not? And we're going to give it a source at URI. Uh, already made, already copied this uh, from Unsplash. And the link to the credit is in the description down below. It's an amazing, amazing picture. I really liked it. Reminded me of uh, that Ghibli movie. I can't remember the name of it. Spirited Away, I think. But anyways, so now we have an image on the right side right there. All right, so that pretty much concludes this tutorial. It was a fairly quick one, um, but that's pretty much how you cover the basics of customizing the header, the header title, adding things on the left and right side of the actual header. And um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.